Well, joining us for our weekly entertainment panel is Abby St. John. Now, Abby, there was lots to talk about this week, especially with Netflix and, of course, with Stranger Things, because many people are thinking that this next season, season four, was going to be the final season. But COVID provided them an opportunity to maybe expand a bit on the story. So just give us some details on what we now could expect from the next season. Yes, this is very exciting news for Stranger Things fans like myself. Now, the Duffer Brothers, they had, have stated from the beginning that when they created the show, this show was only meant for about four seasons, that they could possibly stretch to five. Now, since COVID shut down uh, filming, they had started filming season four back in October, but of course they had to shut down a few months later due to the pandemic. But the Duffer Brothers have... Uh, now confirmed that there will be a fifth season state ross duffer stated that season four won't be the end uh we know what the end is and know when it is so this opportunity or this time has given them the opportunity to really take a look at what they want to do going forward and how much time that they're going to need to tell that full story uh now the duffer uh the duffer brothers also said that we've had a lot more time to work on the scripts for the first First time we have all the scripts written and we're able to look at it as a whole piece and make adjustments. So this is really exciting for fans of Stranger Things because one will be able to continue that journey for at least one more season after season four. Uh, and it's just exciting that we that it's not going to end. I think uh, people were definitely disappointed like myself that season four was going to be the last season as the show has been so popular. But uh, it's it's nice to know that we have at least one more season uh, for Stranger Things to get that fix. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing too is shows like this, you know, we see the kids grow up really fast and, you know, that's obviously going to play a big part as well as their character arcs as well. Now, one thing, uh, moving on, Abby, to some another remake news as well. It was announced on Monday that um, for all the fans that are, maybe know this movie back from the early, like later 80s era, um, the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is getting that remake treatment. I know we talked about other another remake last week, but this week it's uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and Will Smith and Kevin Hart are tapped to play the duo that was all ultimately done originally by Steve Martin and John Candy for all those fans that are in that older uh, demographic that um, are should be should they be excited about this possible remake I think so. Uh, the Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is a classic. It's hilarious. It's funny. John Hughes really brought that comedy to life um, with Steve Martin and the late John Candy's roles. Obviously, John Candy, he was incredible in it. He's always been so funny. So it was just a great pairing, and it was a great story. Uh, now for getting a new, fresh look at it, Will Smith and Kevin Hart will be playing uh, in the movie. There's not a whole lot of information on it quite yet, as as to what roles they will, be, they will be portraying. If I had to take a guess, I would put Will Smith in the in Steve Martin's role and Kevin Hart in John Candy's role, just because uh, in the past, Kevin Hart has been playing that kind of goofy uh, slapstick a side character that comes along and kind of bugs and annoys uh, the, the other character, which I think Will Smith will be playing. Now, they're also both pr uh, producing bo uh, this movie together, so it's kind of interesting that they'll be starring and producing this film. And so I think people should be excited about it. It's going to get a fresh new look and hopefully still have that el those elements of the original John Hughes movie. So uh, it'll be exciting to see what they do with it when it, when it gets further into production production and then when it's ultimately released. You're definitely not wrong about Kevin Hart being that psycho. We've definitely seen that with him in movies like Jumanji and in Central Intelligence. And lastly, Abby, I know a while ago we talked about a Pinocchio movie, but we're not talking the Disney one. We're talking about the very, very darker, much darker and stop motion animated movie that Guillermo del Toro has been making for a long, long time. And of course, it had to stop because of COVID. And we're finally getting some more news about it. And it's acquired by Netflix, first of all, and it's going to be released there as well as in theaters. So just talk about what we could see from this version. Well, you're definitely going to see a lot of familiar faces, um, but I'm going to start out with Pinocchio. It's a newcomer onto the scene. His name is Gregory Mann. 
Uh, there isn't a whole lot of information on him as he's a newcomer into the acting world, into Hollywood. So it's going to be exciting to see um, his his character and how he brings uh, Pinocchio to life. And then you, we have a lot of familiar names. Ewan McGregor is playing the cricket. He he just recently played Dan Torrance in uh, the Shining sequel, Doctor Sleep. Uh, David Bradley, who's going to play Geppetto, he was uh, he is known for all those Harry Potter fans as Filch, and then Game of Thrones fans, he was Walder Frey. So that's going to be really exciting to see him in that role. And then other names like Tilda Swinton, uh, Kate Blanchett, Ron Perlman, uh, Christoph Waltz, Finn Wolfhard, and uh, John Turturro all are going to star in and voice a character in the film. So that's going to be super exciting, and. It's going to be different, like you said earlier, uh, than the Disney version because it's going to be a little bit more darker and it's stop motion animation. It's not a live action remake. So I'm very excited to see what uh, this movie is going to look like and uh, how audience members are going to take it as well, especially with Disney also coming out with a live action remake of it. It's going to kind of compete with each other, but it's nice that they're both very different platforms. So we'll be able to pull uh, from both of those films. Absolutely. Well, Abby St. John, thanks a lot for joining us once again. Thanks, Connor.